in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Remember, I taught you on this, that relationships matter in your life. We are gaining mastery so that if somebody tells you things are not working in my life, in your mind, if you want to help that person, you don't just say, let's pray. You can know what is wrong. Apostle, I'm a great man, but there's nobody somewhere to hear me. You know that this person is lacking of relationships. Relationships are very powerful. I taught you from Genesis 12 and Genesis 13. Remember the story of Abraham and Lot? The Bible says God called Abraham. He called him alone and all his servants. Then the Bible says, and Lot went with him. By the time we get to chapter 13, we see that everything Abraham had, Lot also had. To the point that you will not even know who God called and who followed again. And then Lot made a mistake, a costly mistake. He separated himself from Abraham. I've taught you in this house that there are three levels and three kinds of relationships. There are general relationships to be friendly and to be nice and kind and warm to everybody around you, regardless who, regardless status. Number two, there are seasonal relationships. And that the key to receiving from seasonal relationships is discernment because those relationships are not there forever. You have to discern them and maximize the moment while they are there. And then number three, there are covenant or destiny relationships. These are relationships you must protect at all costs because a part of your success and your results is connected to it. The moment Lot separated himself from Abraham, the next thing we find is a gradual decline until he found himself in the middle of Sodom. It still took Abraham to negotiate for him and still send angels to come and help him and rescue him. And then Abraham, many times he helped that his cousin called Lot. Prodigal son, he was successful only because he was in relationship with his father. The moment he cut away from that relationship, lack and want started until he found himself with peaks. How about the believer? We only excel based on our relationship with Jesus and then our relationship with his spirit. The basis for our excelling in life is the Spirit of God. Relationships are powerful. There are laws to relationships. One of it is friendliness. I've taught you this. Forbearance. All men are men. The best of any man is still a man. The person you like the most who annoy you one day is not new. Learn it. You have to factor it. I taught you that one of the major things you need to maintain relationships is forgiveness and forbearance. Forgiveness means to pardon a default. Forbearance means to create an accommodation for that lapse because it will happen again. Can I tell you, some of the people God will use to lift and help you most in life, some of them may sustain things in your life you want to drive them for. But let me tell you sincerely, if you can understand how relationships work, you will protect certain relationships until they deliver to you the prophecy attached to them. For instance, maybe you're a man of God. Maybe there is a man of God anointed and assigned to help you, but you don't like the man because of the way he speaks or because of temper or because of other limitations. Your ability to endure those limitations will make way for you to receive of the grace that is in that person. Everybody say relationships. You are a relationship away to the next level of your life i've taught you extensively on this and that includes even the ministry of destiny helpers remember divine connectors men of influence gifted people burden bearers listen 
I want you to go back. I gave you an assignment that time. I know many of you didn't do it. God is giving you another chance. Go and write a list of some of the most valuable relationships in your life and begin to invest in them consciously. The top 10 relationships in your life that reflect, um, the, it, it's like those relationships are a gateway. You can't put everybody in your life in the same category and invest the same level of time, energy, and effort. That is not wise. It has nothing to do with hating or loving. There are relationships that are priceless in your life. And if and when you find those relationships, throw away your ego and don't be ashamed to invest your time and energy because the returns from those relationships will translate into an excelling life. Hallelujah. Are we together? There are sacrifices that I've made in my life, even in ministry. There are places I've gone to minister. It was not part of the original schedule. But the sacrifice of maintaining relationships, maybe with the fathers and the people there, I've had to bend over backwards, sometimes even to the detriment of my health. It, was a, 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 it may not have been the best sacrifice, but can I tell you the truth? I know that the excellency of the, the, kind of, the kind of relationship that will be built from that sacrifice will be worth the while. There are many of you, there is nobody who is special in your life. Nobody is worth your commitment. There is nobody who can make you wake up in the night to answer their call or pray for them. You believe you are a disciplinarian. I sleep by 12 midnight and not even jesus christ wakes me if you continue like that you will not go far can i tell you when it has to do with the world of men there are positive compromises yes sir yes sir i left you with a thought when we discussed on relationship let me bring it to you again is there anyone in your life today who sees you to be so valuable and useful to them that if you call for help of any sort if it is within their power they will stand up without question and come to you if you don't have at least one of such kind of person in your life i assure you by god you are sitting on a time bomb no matter how anointed no matter how enlightened in this world who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters is there somebody who can cry with you when you are crying not that you beg the person to cry with you he came on his own volition to say i love you too much your pain is my pain great leaders will tell you that part of the things that make them excel is that they may not have money but they have the wealth of men genuine and sincere men i'll tell you a little story now i'm sure he's going to be embarrassed about um pastor here I remember one time I was going to go and preach and it was a huge sacrifice I was to stop by at Enugu just do two three hours or so preach and then head to connect with another conference in Port Harcourt. it was so inconveniencing but then I needed to push through because of the honor that I had for that man of God and that father of faith and when I remember when I got in I was you know so exhausted and uh, please don't, don't feel embarrassed this dear man you see when i tell you he's a good man he really is a good man put together his team it was even his team that went and picked me from the airport i just went to rest a bit and as i was preaching he came for the program when i finished this man was with me all around this is for those of you who know house on the rock very well respectfully speaking this is one of the men who has raised many of the leaders in house on the rock profound humility hallelujah i was so humbled and broken that day i didn't know how to tell him pastor please your boys are here you go back and he escorted me right to the base of the aircraft to leave can i tell you this i have learned by experience not everybody thinks you are a big deal so when you find people who think you are that important don't trivialize them because it is not everybody who thinks you are that special or deserving of honor that much let me give you a kind advice when you find people in your life who are sincerely interested in your life and your well-being and love you sincerely with no strings attached let me tell you don't be ashamed to invest in those relationships
are we learning there are some people who may not have money to give you man of god but you can be sure that every time you cry they are there how do you throw such people out of your life when jesus christ was on his way to go and die i taught you during easter why was the woman with the issue of blood who cried where was the man at the the entrance of jericho the blind man you thought all these people haven't received from jesus are you learning that it's not enough to be valuable as powerful as it was jesus gave them value but now when he was headed for the cross they all left him but there was a stranger who supposedly appeared from nowhere simon of cyrene he said i will not let you cry I cannot die for the world but i can help the one who can die back then in zaria i don't watch a lot of movies unfortunately i don't have the time but i did a teaching in in zaria then i remember and i love this movie called lord of the rings i think it seems to be one of my best movies simply because um i, I just love anything that shows the laws of life in place right and there was a gentleman the ring bearer the, there was you won't believe that all my love for that film is because of one scene <laughs> so don't think i've never been able to watch it from start to finish so don't even think that i know what i'm saying <laughs> praise god are we together but the one scene that the ring bearer was on his way to go and do his due diligence based on prophecy and he had this faithful friend and the friend made one statement called sam the friend said i may not be able to carry the ring but i can carry you ah when i saw that one i said this is it this is a revelation that is scriptural question please look up there are burdens that you have in your life dear leader dear man of god are there people who can carry you while you carry that burden what betides a man who is left alone carrying the burden of your vision with people who are in your life just to pray on your gifts and go back they pray on your revelation pray on your anointing and once they have everything question are there people in your life who if you don't provide any value for they will still stay because they will tell you i'm not here for it i am here for you may god make you such a person then may God bring such people to your life. Amen. The law of relationships. My life has changed because of relationships. God has helped me in ministry because of relationships. Every facet of my life has received an upward turn because of relationships. I remind you again, be fruitful means be relational. There is no fruitfulness without relationships. No matter what you have and what you are, you need relationships. You must obtain grace from God to learn relationships. Apostle, all I need in my life is just God. You are right, but in the cosmos, you are wrong. Hallelujah. Relationships. Let me give you a few more and we wrap up. Are you learning something tonight? The next law that will help you walk in dominion and will help you produce mastery in your life is the law of honor. Mm. This is a jackpot. I can spend one week teaching on this. I understand it. Believe me. I'm just touching these things. I'm not going into in-depth detail. I've done teachings on them. The law of honor very powerful spiritual principle honor being the discerning the celebrating and even the rewarding of men because of their value and their uniqueness the law of honor is powerful let me submit to you that honor can open sometimes more doors for you even than your skill there are only three reasons why one reason really 
separated into three dimensions why people fail in life only one reason dishonor dishonor to god dishonor to men dishonor to principles that is the only reason why people fail dishonor to god dishonor to men dishonor to principles i've taught you here in koinonia that honor is the key for access every time a door closes over you it was dishonor that closed that door especially if it was once opened any door i assure you by god that once opened over your life and is now closed dishonor closed it business doors especially doors of help and support there are many men of god who may never be allowed to minister in certain circles again because even though they were anointed and gifted dishonor shut that door towards them many of you at one point or the other you've had unusual access into the lives of people especially great and noble people spiritually politically and otherwise but dishonor close that door what is dishonor the trivializing the demeaning the downplaying of people's achievements people's uniqueness and people's value when you trivialize when you demean when you downplay people there are severe life-threatening consequences i've taught you to practice honor honor is a powerful spiritual principle that will help you will lift you will bless you i am a beneficiary of the law of honor there are circles that ordinarily outside of the grace of god upon my life i should never be in those circles or enjoy those privileges not at this level of my life moving at the natural human pace but honor is an accelerator it can fast track your destiny honor can bring you into the achievement of your 10 years later now is someone learning don't live a life and say it's only god that i know and dishonor everybody no there are people in this abuja there are people in this nation it is within their power to lift and bless and help but all the people around them who are in need of that help have perpetually communicated dishonor to the point that there are even parents that will they, are, they wrote their will to house helps and other people, not their biological children, because of the level of dishonor. Please say in the name of Jesus, I obtain grace to practice honor. Honor is powerful. There are people who never greet anyone. Once the person is not rich or wealthy, you don't greet them. Mm -hmm, let me look for the rich people. That's parasitism, not honor. If it is genuine honor it must be for all men because you see the person who is already made you've seen their end but the person who is rising you don't know how far they will rise some of you after this service you may need to call your loved ones or call people around who have perceived that you have communicated this honor perpetually and let them know that you love them and you honor them there are men of God who will come and mount another man of God's pulpit and rubbish the ministry, rubbish what they are doing, downplay the work of the man and share the grace. If you are that man of God, will you invite any other person like that to come on your pulpit? It is because of this fear of dishonor sometimes that men of God seem overprotective with their pulpit. Because they love the sheep so much, they don't want to bring people who sell a narrative that dishonor is marketable practice honor honor children honor your subordinates honor your contemporaries honor your superiors honor all men honor kings and you will watch your life keep shining shining as a man of god you see for those in ministry let me tell you preaching is not the only thing that makes ministry ministry oh. being anointed is not even the only thing that makes ministry ministry wait for part three part three is the power of systems and structures 
I'm going to be sharing with you something powerful when we get to part three. The power of systems and structures. You cannot gain mastery if you do not understand systems and structures. Tonight we are just dealing with the laws that make for dominion. The law of honor. Two more and then we'll pray. The law of favor is the next one. You know this. Hmm. The law of favor. First Samuel 16, 20 to 22. First Samuel 16, 20 to 22. And Jesse took an ass laden with bread and a bottle of wine and a kid and sent them by David his son to Saul. We're reading to 22, 21. And David came to Saul and stood before him and he loved him greatly and he became his armor bearer last verse 22 and saul sent to jesse saying let david i pray thee stand before me for he had found favor in my sight favor is the number one reason people prosper i recommend to you my teaching this grace called favor listen to it listen to it again and again i i honestly submit to you dear people of god i don't know how people survive without the favor of god you will never be able to rise in today's world without favor what is favor when god anoints people to participate in your success when they provide the leverage of their credibility their resources to help you rise listen to my teachings on favor believers your life will be difficult and hard if you do not find favor and as it is you've heard me lovingly correct just add this as a correction for as many who would care to know there are many people who have thought that favor is unmerited access that may be right but not entirely right favor is very merited there are dimensions of favor the saving grace is what is unmerited but believe me favor is merited you can initiate favor favor is a reaction there is something you can do that will equal to favor proverbs 13 15 the bible says good understanding procured favor but the way of the transgressor is hard hardship has an explanation there are many men of God who love Jesus with all their hearts, anointed and preachers of righteousness, but this favor factor most do not have. There are families that do not have it. Some of you, you are seated here. The limitation, there are books within your spirit. There are visions that you have had, but to get to the nations, there's no favor. I will always tell people, it's easy to look at the Joshua Selmans and those who God has seemed to by his mercy and grace bring to the limelight and believe that these are the faces. There are many people even greater than us, but simply because they've not tapped into the other dimensions of the kingdom that gives them that visibility. Favor is powerful. Ask me. Favor is powerful. I've told you that who hates you does not matter. But who likes you matters. Minis li listen, listen. Ministers of the gospel, I assure you by God and with every sense of respect and regard, you are not going to run ministry just based on tithes and offerings. I assure you by God, one day you will collapse. Any man of God who wants to walk in integrity knows I'm not lying. Except you want to manipulate God's people. But if you want to do ministry with the dignity of kingdom integrity, you will need favor. You will need favor. I believe in the favor of God. I thank God that I learned it. I continue to learn the laws of favor. In addition to my loving Jesus and pressing into the things of the spirit, serving the nations with this grace for revival and power, I know that I need the favor of God. Everybody say favor. Please, in one minute, as we prepare to take the last one, just lay your hands on your head again and say, Father, let favor begin to work for me. Pray from your heart. 
believe me you need it man of god you may be watching online you need it businessman you need it there are families here it is this favor factor that you have not seen in your life spiritually you are doing well god has helped you and shown you mercy but you need favor hallelujah praise the name of the lord let me give you the last one and then we'll wrap up for tonight the last law is the law of spiritual empowerment the law of spiritual empowerment i've given you about nine these are the laws that you engage if you want to gain mastery and dominion in life we started by discussing in part one and even today that life and living is spiritual that means you need more than intellectual empowerment you need an empowerment from heaven jesus himself he said the spirit of the lord the messianic prophecy it was for him in luke chapter 4 when he came he began to reiterate that same statement the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed ordained empowered me to preach the gospel to the poor sent me to heal the brokenhearted all of these things happen based on empowerment can i tell you there are certain things that cannot be done by the strength of the flesh it will take supernatural empowerment and i've done teachings on this believers some of you have not opened up your heart for empowerment because you have been taught that empowerment is for men of god those in ministry apostles prophets those who will heal the sick those who will deal with demons and since i am dealing with files or i am dealing with politics i don't need empowerment no sir you do you do you do you need empowerment it takes empowerment to rise it takes empowerment to ward off the forces of darkness that come to fight the purposes of god in your life man of god it takes empowerment to allow that which god has given you go to the nations unhindered i believe in spiritual empowerment i have taught it all the days of my ministerial life this is what i represent among many other things to the body of christ the possibility that men can be empowered and that their lives can become an unending unending manifestation of the power of god i have seen what the anointing can do i have seen what the power of god can do you are truly a blessing when you are empowered You came here tonight desiring to learn, desiring to grow. You came here tonight for someone because you've been asking questions in your life. Lord, I love you and I desire to know you. But is there a way I can have a consolation to my Christian experience? For someone, you came here tonight wondering, why do I enjoy victory and yet my victory is short-lived? why do i enjoy results and then as soon as i'm celebrating i go back again you are in need of mastery your results are random you need to get to a point where you begin to walk in an uncanny level of mastery he says he that strives for mastery is not crowned except and unless he strives lawfully the law the sacrifice of total surrender the law of mental transformation the law of value and contribution the law of authority and submission the law of faith the law of relationships the law of honor the law of favor the law of spiritual empowerment there may be a few other laws that i'll be teaching you but i give you a guarantee hold these laws like like keys and you can move through life opening door after door layer of success and victory after another this is what god desires for us to do and remember i have told you that your results matter for the kingdom because it is in your excelling that the name of the lord is glorified and god wants every one of us to excel is someone ready to pray tonight 
you're going to pray and ask the Lord for grace. Lord, I am tired of shadow boxing my Christian experience. I'm tired of, I'm tired of guessing trial and error. Now I've been born again, say for 10, 20 years, but I, I have not been able to put together the spiritual principles that help me reveal and glorify you. Now you have taught me, I obtain grace. Someone pray, lift your voice in one minute and pray. For just a minute or two, please make sure you focus on Jesus and pray. Of all these spiritual principles and these laws that I've taught you, you know the ones that are not yet at work in your life. Obtain grace from God. For some of you, you are, you are neglecting the law of relationships. For some of you, you have not accessed the favor of God. For some of you, dishonor has closed doors for you. For some of you, you have not even laid down everything. There is no surrender in your life. For some of you, value and contribution. You have entertained mediocrity in your life, in ministry, in business, in career. It's time to come up hither. Someone is praying. One more minute. Are you crying to God? It's time, oh God, to blow me like a chauffeur to the nations. Prepare me. I strive for mastery. Hallelujah. Listen. One of the advantages of being a master or striving for mastery is that you redeem time. Every time you fail an exam, they either dismiss you from that system or you recycle time again. Is that true? Sometimes that time can be as much as one year. Lack of mastery will make a journey of 40 days to become 40 years. Someone is praying. One last prayer. Father, let my mastery of these spiritual laws bring efficiency to my spiritual life go ahead and pray in that which you have called me to do those who have gone ahead of us have shown us that these are the keys in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for you as we wrap up tonight's service father I thank you for the privilege again that you have granted unto us to bring your word many within this place and so many more following and connecting from their homes you have spoken to us tonight on these spiritual laws these are the laws that help men to gain mastery in life and destiny i pray in the name of jesus that for every one person here who is yet to gain and lay hold of these spiritual principles the grace to do so is released upon you in the name of jesus yeah. i pray for the diligence to understand and master these laws and that as you engage them your life will be nothing short of a sign and a wonder yeah. where you have been down may these laws lift you up yeah. in the name of jesus yeah. and where you have not been able to bear much fruit that brings glory to the name of the lord may these laws accelerate your results in the name of jesus can i tell you this please look up for many of you i submit to you and i'm saying this primarily to the house here but it extends to as many who will be interested if i were you i would shut down on many many nonsense i'm trying to learn as far as becoming successful is concerned and deal with these things first pick them one by one for some of you god has brought acceleration he has reduced your shadow boxing of 10 20 years 
go back and look at them i've been trying to make ministry work i've been trying to make my destiny work ah this is it holy spirit open my eyes the more all of these laws i've taught them in details listen to them one by one and learn them and you will come and stand here week after week testifying to the point that you will even think will be angry with you because your face is too frequent because there will be no week without a notable testimony in the name of jesus christ lift your hands and give him thanks for tonight's service hallelujah part three we're going to discuss i'll be teaching you next week please don't miss it the power of systems and structures striving for mastery part three will be the power of systems and structures many of you will be learning something that will transform your life forever please keep standing let me quickly make the altar call and then we wrap up we will never fail to make an altar call here for as long as god grants us the privilege to gather may i play with us to please minimize movement just for a minute and we'll be done i know that most people may try to rush so that they get vehicles and the rest just be patient let's honor all who need to make a decision every time god gathers us like this it is because there is someone who comes in the midst of god's people who needs jesus and i believe tonight is no different there's someone you are here you are saying apostle i need jesus in my life and for another you are saying apostle i remember giving my heart to jesus but i need restoration if you belong to any of these categories inside all the overflows outside may i request that you come and stand here very quickly we have just one minute for you please boldly leave your seat and come god bless you let's celebrate them as they come i have decided to follow jesus keep coming i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turn please if you're joining them hurry up hurry up so that we pray for you we love you jesus brought you here to give you a new beginning come come apostle i'm not sure if i'm saved can i join them absolutely you're most welcome there is something called the assurance of salvation you can know that you know that if the trumpet sounds today for you it will be that your decision has given you the authorization to be with jesus even forever god bless you thank you so much for those of you who are in front and then all the overflows and for those who are following uh, by way of television you can make this decision right now right where you are jesus is with you please may i request those in front can you lift your right hand high above your head and say this prayer after me let it be from the depth of your heart say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus as my savior i receive jesus as my lord i receive jesus as my king the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i am a child of god saved amen let me pray for you father thank you for these precious people the bible declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away they have come because they believe in you by the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven and i pray that my god gives you a new beginning from tonight the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life you walk in newness of life and you walk in righteousness you go from glory to glory and from grace to grace for in jesus name i pray amen and amen god bless you please may i request just for a moment that you move to my right which is your left there will be a few counselors who will just have a word with you very briefly and then you'll be back to your seat god bless you darling thank you hallelujah
Let's celebrate them as they go. Thank you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salas kade bash kana kata branda kate katos kate branda kata bako tos koko preka teka neka ta. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.